what's up beautiful people it's indarima welcome to the channel today we have this incredible animation shows how deep the ocean really is also i'm excited to check this one out let's check it out just how deep does the ocean go okay if you took the highest point on land and submerged it you would still have more than a mile between you and the deepest point in the oceans the oceans harbor 99 percent of all living space on earth and have enough water to fill a bathtub that's 685 miles long on each side. For scale, here's a human, and here's a blue whale, the largest animal on Earth. Mm -hmm. Blue whales usually hunt at depths of around 330 feet within the well-lit zone of the ocean. Deeper down, at 700 feet, the USS Triton became the first submarine to circumnavigate the Earth in 1960. At 831 feet, we reached the deepest free dive in recorded history. Down here, the pressure is 26 times greater than at the surface, which would crush most human lungs. But whales manage it, diving to a max depth of 1,640 feet where they hunt giant squid. At 2,400 feet, we reach the danger zone for modern nuclear attack submarines. Any deeper, and the submarine's hull would implode. 2,722 feet down is where the tip of the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, would reach. Oh A little my. farther, at 3,280 feet, we're deep enough that sunlight can't reach us. We've now entered the midnight zone. Many animals down here can't see, like these eyeless shrimp at 7,500 feet who thrive near scalding, hot underwater volcanoes. At this depth, temperatures are just a few degrees above freezing, but the waters around hydrothermal vents can heat up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. 9,816 feet is the deepest any mammal has been recorded swimming, the Cuvier beaked whale. But not even the Cuvier beaked whale could explore the RMS Titanic, which rests at a staggering depth of 12,500 feet. Wow. The pressure is now 378 times greater than at the surface. Yet you can still find sea life like the fangtooth, hagfish, and Dumbo octopus, the deepest living octopus on Earth. At 20,000 feet is the Hadal Zone, an area designated for the ocean's deepest trenches, no. like the Mariana Trench. If you tipped Mount Everest into the Mariana Trench, its summit would reach down to 29,029 feet. <gasps> that still doesn't compare to the two deepest crewed missions in history. Hmm. In 2012, director James Cameron descended to 35,756 feet for the Deep Sea Challenger mission. But Cameron didn't quite break the record, which was set by oceanographer Jacques Picard and Lieutenant Don Walsh in 1960. Picard and Walsh descended to the lowest point on Earth, Challenger Deep, at a record 35,797 feet below the surface. Wow. Since then, scientists have sent half a dozen unmanned submersibles to explore Challenger Deep, including Keiko, which collected over 350 species off the seafloor between 1995 and 2003. But scientists estimate there are potentially thousands of marine species we have yet to discover. Humans have explored an estimated 5 to 10 percent of Earth's oceans. We've only just begun to understand the deep, dark world that flows beneath us. Wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say. This is... This is... This is amazing. Like, the further you go, the deeper it is, the colder it is, the, the darker it is. Oh my god. But yeah, this was quite interesting. I didn't even know that the ocean is this deep. But I love what I'm learning so far. I love that I saw this video and I decided to check it out to learn because I didn't even know much about this. Um, I love that there are lots more discovery that are coming into coming in, and you can see people taking risk to discover these. And I really do applaud them. I applaud the scientists that take time to um, discover these for us to learn about is incredible it's amazing and let me know your thoughts in the comment down below let me know um what you think about today's video let me know other suggestion or other information you think that might be really helpful regarding today's video and until next time see you in the next one